I've been more active on LinkedIn in 2020 than ever before, so my prominence on the platform must have skyrocketed. Oh wait, I'm not the only one there. Stay with me over the next four minutes as I share some of my experience, which is hopefully helpful for you. Ladies and gentlemen, a very warm welcome to the Migro Podcast. This is episode 15 and it's early January 2021. A few years back, a fellow alumna from the Singapore Management University alerted me to the existence of the Social Selling Index on LinkedIn. The SSI, as it's called in short, is roughly equivalent to your prominence and impact on LinkedIn. Much to my surprise, I scored very highly back in 2017. Certainly, the large number of connections I built over the years drove this high score. On the other hand, I hardly posted anything on the platform back then, so the high score did surprise me. About 12 months ago, early 2020, I decided to make better use of LinkedIn. Hence, I started publishing, forwarding, LinkedIn, linking and commenting much, much more regularly. Some of my posts achieved thousands of views, for, his, for instance, a cyber chat with two colleagues. And the views on the accompanying podcasts also showed promising numbers. So in late 2020, I decided to look up my SSI again, expecting, in all humbleness or naivety, a much improved score. Quite to my surprise, the score in late 2020 is roughly the same as what I scored a few years back. So this outcome, despite me being much more active on LinkedIn now, that really made me wonder. Upon closer analysis, I still scored well in the connection section or subsection, but the other sections obviously have room for upward development. So how come that my increased posting activity did not improve my score? I can Think of a few contributors to this unaltered score. Admittedly, these statements are educated guesses and not hard facts. So I reckon most LinkedIn users post, like and share much more now than they did a few years ago. In other words, what was average or good a few years ago is now substandard at best or worth probably even less. Secondly, my professional activities circle around risk transfer and risk management. I do not post about hot topics in inverted commas outside of these spheres. So I might not get the uplift that the LinkedIn algorithm assigns to the most trending topics. I also noticed that posts emphasizing very personal considerations do very well. All good and fine, but unless I really feel it makes sense to post something highly personal, I will not do it. Even if this means I forgo clicks and likes. Furthermore, learning how to title, link, refer and hashtag is an ongoing process so I strive to improve in this area as well. On a tangent, the good people from Yoast, www.yoast.com, link is in the show note, publish excellent material and plugins on search engine optimization. And lastly, I'm also experimenting with the location in inverted commas of the post. So is it better to post under the company page than link to my personal account or the other way around? No conclusive evidence thus far, if anybody has recommendations to this question or an answer, please post it in the comments below. So LinkedIn is a great platform. It keeps evolving and obviously so must I in my usage of it. Simply never stay still. So stay tuned for an SSI update in the hopefully not too distant future. In the meantime, thank you for listening. Stay safe and enjoy what you're doing and all the best for 2021 from all of us here at Migro Consulting in Singapore. Goodbye for now.